Lovely weather we're having. You see that green light? That comes from the windstone. Where my people work against their will. They must be freed soon. I see what you mean. Ah. Any idea how to do that? Because I have precisely none. The village is just ahead. Storn has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. Yeah, I can definitely see a barrier in all of this. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Yes? I'm following- oh. Oh, I see. Quaint little place. Father! I have returned. There is yet hope. Freya, what news do you bring? Is there a way to free our people? No, but I have brought someone who has seen things. He has confirmed that Mirak is indeed behind the suffering of our people. I feared that it would be so. But how is that possible? After all this time? I fear there is too much we do not yet know. Please. Tell Storm what has happened. Oh, me? Alright, I'll try not to get in the way of this... ...thing. I'm sure Master Andretti would have loved to see this. You must be Storm. So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. Well, Mirak is behind all of this. And I intend to do something about it. How do you know this? Oh, well. <laughs> that is a good, uh... Good question. I read a book in Mirak's temple and went somewhere and got kindly and uh, not so graciously greeted by the man himself. The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine, but if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? Uh... Well, Mirak did claim to be Dragonborn. I hesitate to think I'm anything like him, though. That is what the stories say. You are Dragonborn as well, then. Perhaps you are connected. Mm. We'll go with that. Hypothetically, what would it mean if we're both dragonborn? I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learned there the word that Mirak learned long ago, and use that knowledge on the windstone. You may be able to break the hold on our people there, 
and free them from control. Uh huh. All right. Uh, what do you mean, free your people from control? Some dark influence wields power over them, forces them to forget themselves and act against their nature. At first, it was only during the night, but now every moment is spent building some strange shrine around the windstone. I believe if the shrine can be destroyed, the skull will be free once more. Oh yeah, I uh... I'm familiar with the feeling. Why do I need to learn a word of power specifically? Why couldn't I just blast the shrine to bits? Mirak is behind what is happening to our village. And so the knowledge she has gained as Dragonborn is at the heart of it. You are Dragonborn as well. You too can wield this power, perhaps to a better end. Maybe. What do you know about Mirak, by the way? Much of what was known has been lost to the ages. He was dragonborn, and yet he served the dragons. A priest in their order. Highly esteemed and very powerful. Then he turned against them, becoming something they feared. He was defeated long ago, but it seems he was never really destroyed. Excellent. May darkness never touch you. <laughs> it kind of already has. We're just going to let them think what they will, I believe. I mean, Mirax goons were saying something about a false dragonborn. I might as well try the shoe on and see if somehow a bit of unspoken Daedric influence might make it fit. First, of course, I need to figure out where Saring's watch is. Which, in theory, I know. But in practice... It might take some getting lost. Oh, Solvander is going to have a guar. An absolute <laughs> I should probably make this quick in that case. Then we'll deal with whatever's going on with these weird stones. Handy of whoever built this place, or settled it anyway, to mark the paths. Daring's watch. Very nice. At least the sun's coming out. That's all I can say, really. Hello. Oh, Spriggans. What the? All right. I don't know what Spriggans are doing in a place like this, but all right. Does that... Sure. Because when one thinks of Spriggans, obviously the first thing that comes to mind is... A river of ice in the middle of Solstheim. Oh, 
little goblin things. What were they called again? Rieglings? Probably. We're almost there. I'm going to ignore as much of this as possible. and out. Go up. Get some vantage. Interesting. I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go up, get some vantage. Go entirely the wrong direction. And then have to turn around again. Let's do some... Oh. This is why vantages are important. I'm not the most adept rock hopper ever, but I like to think that I get the job done. Hi hoo ha right. <laughs> yeah. Oh hello. This is a nice little spire. And I am of course on the wrong side of everything. Alright, well tempting little treasure chest. Let me come see what secrets you have. An iron sword. A plate helmet that will probably not fit me because I have a little bit of a snout. Oh, last luck pick. Well, that's fine. That is a whole dragon in there. <laughs> okay. All right. I wonder if I can. Sneak up on it. to sneak up on a whole dragon. Oh. Well, all right. I guess dragons do kind of have ears. <laughs> sure. Oh, this is great. I heard... Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh. Nice boots. Yeah. Oh, hello. 
Who's... Where? How? Huh? Oh. Ha ha ha, there's someone up there too. Hopefully one of those hit. <laughs> that was one spectacular shot. Oh. I wish. I wish so were here right now. <laughs> okay. I hear... Oh. Haha. <laughs> yeah, what was the, uh... That word... In the place? If I can remember what it meant, maybe? Something... Ow! Something that reminded me of soul, right? Probably. Son of a... Where are you? There he is. I got you. Right, we're just going to go up here. Ah. Oh. Okay, there's more. And a dragon. What do you need to defeat a dragon? Uh, well, I'm glad he found someone to entertain him. For now. Oh. Ah. Of course. This smart bastard. What do we need to kill a dragon? Besides good aim. Uh. Well, now he's down. We're going to need strength, I think. here and of course it's yours I grow ever stronger Mirak you are officially hang on I have healing potions in here, don't I? I do. Many of them. I will take that one. There! Well... Let's 
This is certainly interesting. I kind of like it. <laughs> There's a word all this. There's a word wall up there. Huh. I'm even more spiky. Cactus, indeed. Right. I'll be honest, I didn't expect that to work. Are you... serious? I guess he can be a little bit serious. Thank you, Hermaeus Mora. No more surprises, please. What does this mean? Somebody died sitting on a cliff trying to become wise only to not be. All right. Fair enough. As you do. Oh, very, very nice. I have enough shinies, I think. Oh. Yeah, this must be the guy. Alright. So that dragon was definitely fighting something back over there, which means I'm going to need to be careful going back that way. <laughs> I'm a spiky cactus. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out what that means. Well, that's alright. I know how to find out. Alright, I think that's enough meditation on Earth for one day. Earth and strength. Or, I suppose... Perhaps groundedness and strength. I... this is not a good way to go. Alright. How do I get out of this place? Guess I go around. Heh, <laughs> alright. It was worth a shot, but alas. Groundedness and strength. Two traits with which I am not overly endowed. Huh. Well, that's interesting. The gauntlets are gone, and yet I still feel a little bit of static charge. A bit like... A bit like a cloak spell. Alright, now where am I going? Back to... oh dear. Back past the Spriggans and... to the glowy green stone, I believe. 
do one of those. Oh. <laughs> I nearly missed that one. That would have been tragic. Hello. Mogul says pay up. We figure we can just take it off your corpse. Really? You really don't want to do this. Hey, you know, I suppose I can do a bit of testing, can't I? Well. Certainly did something. Mogul's going to keep sending thugs after me, is he? Ugh. Ah. Anyway, I have far more important and bigger fish to bend. Anybody not a skull here? Not that I can see. Well, let's see how this goes, shall we? Oh. Oh, all right. Oh, and a lurker. Hello, big ugly bug. Sir. Don't be. I am soft, you left me with no choice. Don't be an idiot, please. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Taking that. So what is this thing? And who are you? Do be careful with that spell, will you? Huh. Mm hmm Me? Careful? Never. <laughs> well, the skull are free, we go back until uh storm. The good news? Whatever his name was. The- oh, there we are. The old man with the giant barrier spell. That... is really pretty. However, my- <laughs> Good job! That is a big wolf. Oh. Oh, oh all right. Anyway. <laughs> Getting some weeding done, I see. Ah. <sighs> Nostalgia. To be back in Morrowind. Weeding the herb garden. Having never met Neloth in my life. 
Sometimes I wish I could go back to that. Why, hello. Uh, Shaman and Freya. I am covered in blood and I apologize. You have prevailed. I can feel it. Indeed. Heh. <laughs> your local dragonborn has freed your people. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull, and so the Skull shall be allies to you. Well, that's useful. Potentially. So what do we do now? If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstheim. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Mirak is doing, but it may slow his progress. Oh, there's more. All right. See, here's the problem, though. Mirak is getting on my nerves. Which means I need to stop him now. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black book. Okay. Can you tell me more about it then? Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a dark thing. Unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Neloth... He came to us some time ago, asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. Uh, you don't say. Neloth, huh? All right. Yeah, that's fine. He's going to be so pleased to see me, I'm sure of it. Before I... make myself work up the courage to do that, what do you know about these black books? Our traditions do not speak of them, but they and Mirak are connected. You read a black book and saw him. And the book's power comes from the same dark source as that which corrupted the Windstone. But beware. You are now walking the same road as Mirak. Well, that's... happens. While I'm here... I've... I heard, uh... Freya mentioned the Allmaker a few times while we were clearing out the temple. Who or what is it? You are an outsider, and I don't know if I can make you understand. I will try. The Allmaker is the maker of all things, and it is from the Allmaker that life flows like a great river. As all rivers must return to the sea, so all life returns in time to the All-Maker. I know our ways must seem strange to you, but the nine gods of the Empire are equally strange to us. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'd better be on my way then. May darkness never touch you. Hmm. You're out, Freya. Yeah.